Feedback is food of the gods, or so they say, but only if balanced. Effective feedback should focus on two elements equally. Firstly, what I'll call motivational. This is providing insight and affirmation on what is being done well. Secondly, what I'll call developmental. This is providing insight and advice concerning what needs to improve. Now, language is important. I'm not using positive or negative here. So, for example, so what went well this morning was your questioning and engagement with the client. You were confident and the client was relaxed, responding well to your questions. It would have been better had there been more structure in the conversation and the next steps more clearly defined in terms of what you were going to do and what actions the client did to take. But what's your experience? Lots of could do better and very little of what's going well, if my experience is anything to go by. In a performance sense though, this is crazy. People need to know what they do well so they can keep doing it. Yes, they need to know absolutely what they need to do better also. If I do something well and I know it, I will deliberately repeat it. If I don't know this and I do it again, then that could be an accident because I don't know it, it's not deliberate. Surely you want people to know what they do well to keep doing this and then be aware of the areas they need to improve. So, motivational feedback, what is being done well, developmental feedback, what needs to improve. Balance is the key to providing feedback effectively. Thank you. If you like the thoughts and ideas we presented here, please press like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It won't cost you anything.